Hi guys, welcome back to another quick and short video. In today's video, I'm just going to show you how you can turn this strategy into an automated trading system for yourself. And you don't need to know any coding to do that. And you don't need to pay anybody to do that. By the way, if you are new on this channel, please consider subscribing so that you do not miss any of our future videos. See the links in the description box below if you're also inter interested in downloading free forex robots, free courses, free books and stuff like that. If you're also looking for a good reliable broker that you can use for your trading robots, also see the link in the description box below. For just $5, you can open a real life trading account which you can use to test these trading robots in real life markets. Then if that robot is growing that account, then obviously you can add more money to your account. So let's go back to our video. So today's video, uh, by the way, I apologize for being quite lately. Uh, like I said in a previous video, uh, I had a flu. I started the year with a flu, so that's why I've been a scarce. But I'm better now and I'm back and I'm excited so that we can continue doing uh, these videos. So this video is based on the EMA Parabolic SAR and the RSI uh, 3 indicators. And many people are familiar with these indicators and is mt4 mt4 default indicators such as parabolic sir ama and rsi um, for trendy markets this strategy is very profitable uh, that's what uh, they say and by following this strategy you can make profit easily we'll see we'll see so how to get a signal let's jump to that uh, of course we already know about these indicators so how to get the uh, trading signal so we just open let's just open the image in a new tab so that we can see it uh, better so as you can see the conditions there is that the rsi must be above the RSI must be above the 50 level. The RSI is default RSI must be above 50 level. Parabolic uh, starts a dots in the up direction. And by entry, I think it's when price crosses above. Let's just go back to here. So price must be above the 100 EMA. Okay, candle needs to close above the 100 EMA, which is that, that's for a buy, and RSI needs to close above the 50 level, from lower to upper. Parabolexa jumps on price at the same time and starts dots in the up direction, when these conditions will be fulfilled this is the strategy will give you by signal okay uh, for me it's not very clear there because there's a difference between above and crosses above so I guess you might have to use what you want to use if you if you use above if you continue to use above uh, you are going to continuously getting buy orders as long as it's above if you use above here and above on price and above on parabolic sir you continue getting uh buy orders so what we would want is either we use the uh, rsi at the crossover or price at the crossover I think that's uh, what we need. And the crossover then limits the trade to only one trade. That's what we want. We do not add a thousand trades in one direction. Okay, so let's just go to FX Streamer. By the way, if you're not aware, FX Streamer was hacked. Somebody hacked FX Streamer, but they seem to have brought it back uh, I've had to actually 
uh, reset my passwords and everything and also reset the password on uh, fx streamer because my account uh, actually was gone so this is the first time i'm actually going back uh, to all of this and i don't think uh, my projects are still there i don't i, I do not think uh, i still have uh, projects uh, there but in any case in any case uh, watch the other video on this channel where i talked about the hack at uh, fx streamer but in any case let's start with the video so to do this what you would first do what i usually do first is i go for my time filter once per bar i know there are people who are asking me in the comment section uh, how do i make sure the robot can open a thousand trades in one direction and then what you want to do is you want to not use these two blocks don't use these two blocks because these two blocks are limiting you to are limiting your robot to make sure that it only takes one trade per signal so if you don't want that if you want your robot to just take a whole lot of uh, trades per signal then just do not use these blocks okay simple as that then uh that's that so let's set uh, the first condition the first condition let's say the first condition is rsi must be above 50 level then we come here and condition this this is for uh, the buys and we'll set the conditions for the sales here and we just link it like that double click <coughs> then we go to indicator and we look for uh, our si relative strength indicator default it's default settings it has to be above it is above we are going to say the 50 level so we're going to use value numeric value and we're going to say a 50 that's first uh, condition for uh, this and we have the parabolic star uh, going up uh, let's see parabolic star this will probably be my, my first time uh, using the parabolic sir. Uh, we'll say a price. I'm going to use a price here. Uh, uh, candles would need to be above the parabolic sir. My candles. My candles will need to be above the parabolic uh, sir so that's uh, the second condition then the last condition is where i'm going to try again to limit the number of uh, buy orders that are going to appear i'm going to link it like that and double click that's for the ema now here uh, we need a candle candle one to cross over and close above the 100 EMA. I'm going to go to candle. I'm going to use candle one. I think I need to go back to parabolic side and make sure that it's candle one. Uh, it needs to cross over. I need it to cross over, to cross above. The moment it crosses above, that's when I want to take the, the trade. The moment, this moment, that's where I want to take the trade. I don't want it to continue taking uh, trades as long as price is above the 100 EMA. I want only at this moment. So uh, that's what crosses above means. And it's the 100. 100. Of the average EMA. Just like that then we update let me go back to parabolic sir it needs to be candle one let's just 
to make it candle one. Candle zero is the current and closed candle, the current candle that you are looking at, which is still jumping up and down. Then candle one is the candle that just closed, with the difference between the candle numbers. Then after that, you can come and you say buy now. Then double click and put in your volume there you can uh, tick some of these uh, gray boxes so that you can change some of these things without coming back to fx streamer uh, stop loss or maybe just use the textbook one which is uh, 30 pips and for a one is to two we just make a tp uh, 60 pips and we update or if you don't want to use the buy now you can use a buy pending order you can use a buy pending order instead of buy now you can use a buy pending order if you you want maybe to see if then price will continue pushing up or if it's going to just cross here and continues uh, down so you can use a buy pending order instead of uh, a buy now button then for the sale it's very simple we just highlight these blocks and we right click and copy them and right click and uh, paste because we don't want to, uh, we are lazy we don't want to do things from scratch again and you just link everything like that then we go back in there and we just change this to that double click in there we change uh, this to that and double click there when it crosses below like that i think i think that's interpreting this cell that's interpreting this cell condition and then after that you simply need to come and put a cell button like that double click and go in there and again just do what you want do what you want with uh, the buying conditions there so that's basically uh, what you want to do with uh, these things uh, what else do uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of some of uh, the questions that you guys leave uh, in the comment section below so that uh, I can maybe try and answer some of these questions as well. Oh, yeah uh, I, I think I just remembered uh, Let me Let me see Yes, I think there's somebody who asked about uh, time frames if they want to limit their robot to uh, uh, a certain time frame if you just go to more settings here yeah, it says current which means the robot can work on any time frame that we place it on and if you want to change time frames this is where you choose the time frames that you want for your robots and this will be time frame for the conditions and basically just make sure that you use one time frame or you can experiment uh, feel free to do that and just go in here and change the time frames to the time frame uh, that you want I, I know there's somebody who asked uh, where do i find the time frames here are the uh, time frames here uh, all the conditions you can see are using the current time frame so if you have uh, your robot wanting to uh, work on a certain time frame then uh, you can simply go in there and actually change uh, the time frame can we change uh, the time frame in here uh not exactly so what you can do is change the time frames for the conditions so you can change the time frames on the conditions whether you want to only use what's appearing on uh the four hourly one hourly one minute or uh, things like that but 
for simplicity i just keep it at current time frame uh, whatever time frame that i i place the robot on it's going to just work but in any case you do what works uh, for yourself then we update then i've done also videos on this channel that i'm not going to go into about trailing stops about closing orders and all a whole raft of other things i don't want to make these videos any longer that's why i also did those videos so if you have any more questions uh, see the videos on this channel sometimes people are asking me things that I have already covered on this channel because people are just lazy to go through the videos on this channel uh, don't be that person guys uh, I hope this is helpful for you uh, turning this into a free forex robot for yourself without paying anybody without uh, doing any coding then after that you just come here before I actually close sorry you just then come here and you name your robot uh, I don't know what you're going to call your robot mine I'll just call it UX fancy name UX and done then there you can download your MQL4 code and your executable uh, file there and I've done uh, also a video on how to use uh, MQ4 uh, files or MQ5 files with MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 on this uh, channel. So if you don't know how to do that, look for that video. Otherwise, guys, that's all about this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.